<laughs> Welcome back. Well, people do say artists are crazy and you don't get much more crazier than this thing. Okay, so this is a very qu quirky, crazy painting that we're going to do. And it's a bit of a bit of everything, really. We have got a bit of pouring art, a bit of acrylic painting and a bit of oil painting all thrown onto one canvas. Okay, so this, if, that you can see, is pouring art or fluid art or something like that. So you just pour the, the paint into a cup. Okay, I think it's a mixture of acrylic paint and a, a bit of glue and stuff like that. You pour it all over your canvas, swash it around and you end up with this effect. Now, I'm going to, well, I left this to dry for about a week, maybe 10 days. Okay, so it's really good and dry. What we're going to do after that is we're going to cut out out of some plastic. Okay, some sticky back plastic or contact paper or masking tape or anything you've got to hand. Some circles and we're going to stick them on there like so. I've got several different sizes. Okay, we're going to stick them on there and we're going to paint over the whole canvas with black acrylic paint just to prime it all. Okay, then hit it with some oil paints and then we could just remove this lot and we'll have some nice little planets out in the cosmos all going to plan okay right so before we start on this please subscribe and like and all that lot and i'm going to fetch you up to the canvas yeah they don't come much crazier than this so basically what we've got that fluid art all nice and dry so we're going to take a couple of these where we're going to put some planets okay pick out where you want to put your planet and then we're going to get a little bit. I think I want this big one. I like these two eyes there and a bit of this, this thing. So I'm going to put this big one round about there. Okay. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of shadow. We want some shadow on our planet. So let's choose a sign. Where do you think the shadow should be? Um, maybe, maybe on this side. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of black acrylic paint. And I'm just going to just rub in some some of this okay and just shape work with the shape you've got okay and just tease it in what it'll do it'll act like a little bit of a, a shadow on the planet when we remove the masking tape okay or masking paper so just shadow it off a little bit and allow this to dry give it a good half an hour or so to dry before applying the tape okay there we go so i'll just take it out like that and then i say tape it's it's plastic isn't it sticky back plastic okay so do that for your painting okay i've stuck the plastic on several areas there with the acrylic shadow just dry i'm going to put another one just there so just stick it down i want it loosely putting it down like that i don't want you know like it, it's enough it's enough okay and then take a brush with some black acrylic paint and then we're just going to paint over the whole thing okay you can even leave a little bit so you know that it's it's there but it's there but we're going to paint over the whole canvas with this black acrylic okay and then allow it to dry completely give it a good hour or so to dry and then we can come back with the oil paints so now that the black primer is all on there and nice and dry we're going to hit the palette uh, sorry we're going to hit the uh, canvas from that palette with a little bit of color transparent oil paint okay and it's only transparent or semi-transparent if it looks black then that's transparent enough for what we want to do okay this is permanent alizarin crimson i'm putting up there okay but we're going to put a mixture of Phthalo blue, a little bit of uh, magenta, some viridian, some Indian yellow, okay, all over. Just randomly put it on, all in different places, uh, till the whole thing is covered. Okay, happy, happy days. There we go, we've just got a very, very thin layer of oil paint on the canvas, a very thin layer of transparent colour. We have got magenta, we've got crimson, phthalo blue, viridian indian yellow they're all on there in different spots and places and it's going to come to life when we hit it with a little bit of titanium white so i'm going to take a fan brush get a little bit of titanium white on the brush okay just a little bit and i'm going to start off by putting a little bit of a glow around this big planet so i'm going to hit it there i think we're going into a little bit of yellow there indian yellow Okay, now you may need to grab a tissue and wipe your brush if you so wish. 
okay but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to start to carve out some cosmic clouds okay so let's go up to the top and just throw in some look at that it's sitting the magenta there which is awesome look at that that's beautiful okay and, uh, and just feather it up oh it's into the into the blues up there just coat the whole canvas in something like this go over the over the planets or moons or star whatever they are okay a little bit more here and there just throw it up like a cosmic cosmic wave and we can tease and twist it so free this kind of painting but it will look absolutely amazing when we've finished there hold your brush right at the end as well get a little bit more jiggy with it with a big clean dry two inch paintbrush i'm just gonna blend this out okay just take out all the brush strokes and everything just blend everything together and it'll give us a nice cosmic cloud space sort of view and i really can't wait to see the finish of this painting it's so different from what i usually paint but it looks so cool so it's so amazing okay so just blend all this out nice and easy nice and easy how how easy is that okay i've just got a softer blender brush and i've just uh teased out a couple more little floatery clouds deep in space right we're gonna get a bit of thin paint let's just grab that so a little bit of thin titanium white so i've thinned it out with a bit of thinner and a little bit of linseed oil a little bit of a reaction there okay on an old fan brush old palette knife and we're just gonna speckle okay all over the, sp the space the sky we're just gonna put a few little stars up here just a couple of little dots and stuff okay just speckle it on okay that's all we need to do just flick it on and speckle it on look it's <laughs> getting there if you get some that are a little bit dribbly okay which inevitably will do just take your blender and blend them away if you don't like them okay but we are going to come back with a, a little bit of finger painting once we've got all these little distant stars in place some twinkles in the stars if you have a look here i'm just going to put my finger there and rest on the canvas that way uh, if you look here we have got a little bit of a, a blob of white paint so if you just take the palette knife a dry one obviously it's got nothing on it and just go up and down okay wipe off any excess and then we'll come from the side this way and i've got a nice little twinkle in the stars this is another cool trick i bet i've got paint all over my face this is another cool trick a tiny little bit of that thin white paint that we did the stars with okay i'm just gonna put it on okay i'm gonna do it just there just touch on and then just flick back and we've got a nice little shooting star or meteorite in the sky where's where we're gonna get his fingers mucky okay so i'm just gonna dip my finger into the uh, the paint okay this is a little bit of a greeny yellowy one Okay, I'm just going to put the finger on there and just draw it around. And we've got an instant planet that looks a bit dark. So let's get a little bit of a, a lighter colour, a little bit of a light purpley colour. Some smaller planets, okay. So we'll put one up here, okay. And just draw it around and off we go, okay. Once that sets for a little bit, we'll, what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll maybe darken the, uh, the tailor edge of it off so we might put another one just there just roll it around and we've got a nice one. Oh, that's a nice color that's a nice purpley whitey color there we go okay so just mix your colors remember do not put your fingers anywhere near your face or your mouth certainly if you're doing this okay a little bit of it and you can use any finger you want you know you don't have to stick to the to the uh, silent f word finger if you don't want okay you can use a little pinky or you can even use a brush all right there we go like that now we could just leave this picture as it is you know but we're gonna add a little bit of perth or foliage down at the bottom right down here so um i think i'm gonna just start off i may do something a little bit wacky uh but anyway i'm just gonna add a very dark green it's, it's actually black and green ivory black 
or if you've got midnight black or any kind of black okay and green and we're just going to put some trees right here where this nice little glow is but i'm thinking we could have a little bit of water there like it's on the edge of a planet okay so just let me just drop some of these trees in just sideways on old old fan brush again and i'm just touching on and all the furry tree limbs just jump straight out off the brush okay they can go along but i think i'm gonna may put a bit of water there if i don't it's because it didn't work right and we'll just go straight along if that makes sense <laughs> probably not okay i think we will go for a little bit of water down at the bottom okay so i'll just put on some more thalo blue okay and touch the very tiny bit of white on to the bristles now how do we go with this do we go this way or that way uh the moment of truth the bravery test and all that lot okay so i'm just gonna go across i think and add some very gentle almost like dry brush kind of ripples across this water there okay and then just straight across there like that that's just as base okay make it straight okay and then just a few here and there let's just grab a bit more color a bit more white okay just a touch okay make it look in fact it might be better with a palette knife i think it will be we went for a little bit of water down at the bottom after all right just let's wipe any paint off the knife and the moment of truth okay so let's just sneak the knife in there underneath now this might take some peeling off okay the big reveal these are the planets okay so that sticky back plastic certainly is strong stuff but good stuff look at that it comes alive doesn't it there we go we've got the shadow there off it comes and pop there we go that looks like a massive moon or planet doesn't it right let's get rid of that and let's do the rest wow okay i'm just blending a little bit of a dark color a little bit of shadow work on the outside of the planet just there and i think we have got a finished painting well if you notice i put a couple of little people right down in the uh, forest there looking out at this fabulous cosmic sky if you've enjoyed this one give it a big old thumbs up subscribe if you've not done so already and until next time take care stay safe happy days